Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. It's really important in trying to understand what we're about as a diocese in the years ahead. We are the Church of England from the Tyne to the Tees and the Dales to the Seas, but our purpose is to bless our communities in Jesus' name. In May, we launched the plan on a page. We hope that it gives a very clear view of the priorities, which remain growing the church, children and young people, and poverty. But we have to have some more specifics about that, and we have to talk about how we're going to get there. It's about going out there, understanding what are the drivers of policy, how we can work with individuals, with other organisations, with local authorities, how we can lobby in order to help get things done that will make a lasting difference. The new plan on the page captures and puts and puts perfectly um, into perspective what the church is about. Oh, I'm excited about it. I think it's, it's improved as we've gone through each iteration. It puts in, in a visual way um, how it is that the, the diocese plans to go forward. So I think it's actually about vision, it's about hope, it's about passion, it's about wanting to get together to do it. It's all our business and we need to do that. I think it's a tremendous plan because it actually starts from what God's mission in this place is. I, I think it's really good. It's good to have something that pulls together and gives a, a sort of a, a breadth to what we're trying to do in the diocese. This is what the church is all about. We're about transforming communities, we're about transforming lives and we're about having a transformative church. And the plan puts together on one piece of paper the things that we need, if you like, is a little like a menu. It puts something together that gives the church a hearty meal that enables us to transform the communities that we're a part of with enthusiasm, with commitment and with realistic step-by-step -step approaches. And that's what the plan on the page is all about. Of course, it has to be delivered at a local level. Mission happens locally, so it's up to you to, to work at this. We'll be talking about this at every opportunity. We, we just bang the message home again and again and again and, and focus on those outcomes. Because if people get those, then the, the, the brakes come off on some of the other things. In order to achieve our ambitions, we're going to need to increase our income over the next five years. And in particular, we're going to need to increase our income of parish share by 5% per year between now and 2020. Parish share will always be the largest source of our income. Uh, and indeed, it's likely to rise as a percentage of our income in the future. There's no change to the offer, the pledge system. Every parish is asked to think, in the light of all that we need, and in light of what we've got, how can we generously respond to the love of God and the mission that God calls us to? So it is about a pledge, a promise of what you can afford, but in a spirit of generosity and in a spirit of collaboration with everyone else across the diocese. In the immediate term, we need to increase our parish share income by a minimum of 3% between 2015 and 2016 and that's the challenge which collectively we put before all of the parishes in the diocese. Giving is part of our discipleship. Our church is our church. The church is the people, not the building. Adding together all of our pledges for parish share, we need the income to come in at 3% more than it did last year. Now clearly that's going to vary a little bit between parishes. Some will be able to afford a little bit less some will be able to offer in their generosity more. Actually it's calling us to be generous in order to fulfil the mission of God. The way to do it is by letting people realise that what we're, what we're after is not their money, what we're after is their energy, um, but in order to do what we want to do we need to be supported financially. You've been, all been asked to engage with a whole new deanery plan process and that's underway and I simply want to encourage you to play your full part in developing the new deanery plans. And it's very exciting I think and we have to try and find ways of being excited ourselves and passing on that excitement to others. My recent prayer walks in Gateshead West and Durham, the first of eight years worth of uh, prayer walks, uh, went fantastically well. We were, had fantastic reception from community members and it was the community members who wanted us to pray for them and with them. It was the community members who th thought it was great that the church was out and about mixing with them, finding out about what they're doing. The community wants us to be out there with them, blessing them. So, let's get on with it. So we're all involved, me included. Every one of us has to live out the values of being a Christian. Every one of us has to step up and volunteer using our gifts. Every one of us has to step up and offer our money as well. Every penny that we have belongs to God and is to be used for the glory of God. And part of that is how we give, every single one of us. 
So let's all play our part, giving generously, working together, so that we really can see the, our communities being blessed in Jesus' name for the transformation of us all. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for the way in which you will pray and then respond, because I believe that as we do so, we will experience God's blessing on us as we bless others.